Then I'm going to jump in. Three queens. Oh. And then do three rows. So for today's workout, I'm starting off with some uh, chest work. So a couple of videos ago, I had mentioned that I felt like I was lacking on how much push stuff I was doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So um, uh, making sure that I get those movements in. Um, I also think like my chest has gotten a little uh, smaller. Uh, it could just be in my head, but I think it's getting a little smaller. So time to throw back in some bodybuilding slash hypertrophy style work to make sure uh, I don't lose gains in my chest. Starting off with incline alternate dumbbell presses. There's going to be a tricep. Um, it's going to be a tricep, so three exercises back to back. Uh, so starting off with alternate dumbbell presses on the incline. After getting eight, I'm gonna move into some crush grip presses. So crush grip is when uh, the two dumbbells are holding each other like this. And then I'm gonna do at least five. Good for targeting the uh, middle chest. And after that, dropping one of the dumbbells. And I think those last two movements are really good for targeting the middle chest, uh, building thickness in the center of the chest. Also from a movement perspective, I am going full range of motion. So when I do full range of motion stuff, it contributes to mobility. In any case, I'm going to do this for four sets, then on to something else. So for the next exercise, doing single arm dumbbell chest presses, I find them really good to uh, even out the strength between either side. And also, uh, since the other dumbbell doesn't exist to uh, like counterweight the weight in one hand, your core has to uh, stay activated in order to maintain its balance. Uh, so anyway, uh, looks like this. Going for eight each side.
But yeah, I'm going to do that for three sets. So moving into some kettlebell complexes. Uh, going to start off with some swing uh, flips. Then after that, going to go into some, uh, I guess, mixed grip or elevated grip uh, push-ups to keep a push element existent within the complex and then ended off with three rows each hand. So looks like this. Three swings to flips. Then elevated grip push-ups, three each side. Jump in the middle, three rows, each hand. Going to do five sets of this complex and then make up something else. So for the next kettlebell complex, doing three uh, push-ups, three cleans, three rows. It looks like this. So on the kettlebells, I'm going to do three push-ups and going to let my chest sink in between the kettlebells for full range of motion. Then I'm going to jump in. Three cleans. Oh. And then do three rows. So pretty much full body there, but the chest and back are hit. And then the cleans kind of hit the full body in an explosive way. I'm going to do five sets of this. Then, uh, probably gonna do one or two more complexes. Actually, maybe one more complex, then abs. This next thing is inspired by uh, the er eroding weakness is Instagram page. I think it was his second to last post or third to last post or something like that. Um, so it's this movement where, I should just really learn his real name, but in any case, uh, I should, he goes from a clean to a lunge to a press. And I'm just adding a push up to that. So uh, looks like this. I'm gonna do two push ups, jump, Clean, press, back into rack, come down, jump back, push ups with the other hand, jump in, I'm gonna do two of this. Ah, by the end of two of those, uh, at least I'm spent. I'm using the 60 pound too. It might not be as taxing with a lighter one, but just wanted to try the heavy one. I'm gonna do maybe one more set with this weight and then go lighter for a couple sets and then move into abs.
So the next exercise is a combination push-up and core thing. Think of it almost as a oblique twist burpee. If that makes any sense. So I have one of these handles. Uh, I don't know, you'd have to get creative if you don't have one of these. Um, in any case, bring it out and then get into a push-up position. So there's already going to be tension kind of pulling. So uh, you won't necessarily feel it, but if you were to, like right now, the whole body is pushing uh, the handle down. But if it were to be uh, suspended, you would feel it in the core, if that makes sense. So I'm going to do a push-up. Jump in. Twist. Push up. Twist. Push up. Twist. Push up. Twist. I'm going to go for four each side. And by the end of it, heart rate should be high. Your core should feel pretty worked. And just overall, I think it's a good exercise that I saw online. And yeah, in any case, I'm going to do this for another set, then move into something else. So for the next exercise, doing uh, knee raise, alternate knee raises with uh, cables attached. Great for the hip flexors and lower abs. So I'm going to lay down and I have one cable each attached to each leg. I'm going to bring both legs up and then alternate. <laughs> Really feeling a stretch at the bottom of the rep. Ah. Ah. Got six each side with that set. I'm gonna try to bang out a few more. Uh, okay. So yeah, gonna do this for a bit, and I think that'll be it for abs. Uh, yeah. Uh, then gonna hit the sauna. And yeah, I think that's it for the video. Um, see you all tomorrow.